There are more than 20,000 unwanted thoroughbreds in the United States. Most of these are former racehorses, yet the horse racing industry continues to breed 30,000 new thoroughbred foals every year. In April 2011, PETA undercover investigators filmed inside the breeding barns at Darley America, one of the world's most expensive thoroughbred breeding operations. At Darley America, famous stallions cover more than 100 mares each in a single breeding season in a regimen similar to a factory assembly line. Here you see Street Cry, who is the sire of Zenyatta and Kentucky Derby winner Street Sense, being goaded by workers to mount a mare. A single stud fee for Street Cry is $150,000, and he has already sired more than 1,200 foals. While owners continue to breed thousands of foals and are willing to pay exorbitant stud fees, more than 10,000 thoroughbreds every year will be sold for slaughter at livestock auctions like this one. Even Kentucky Derby winner Ferdinand was slaughtered in Japan when he was no longer considered to be of use as a breeding stallion. At the Sugar Creek Livestock Auction in Ohio, PETA undercover investigators identified this thoroughbred mare whose name is Coming Home. She is a granddaughter of Kentucky Derby winner Unbridled. Her cousin, Eight Bells, who was also a granddaughter of Unbridled, was born just 11 days before her in 2005. Eight Bell suffered a catastrophic breakdown during the Kentucky Derby, but coming home is also a victim of the deadly horse racing industry. She was sold to a meat buyer for slaughter for just $200. PETA rescued her with only hours to spare. Coming home will finally be coming home. But most former racehorses never escape. Please help stop this lethal cycle. Urge the Jockey Club to adopt PETA's proposed Thoroughbred 360 Life Cycle Fund. This would generate more than $20 million per year to help ensure the safety and welfare of thoroughbreds after their years on the track are over. To send an online letter to the Jockey Club, please go to PETA.org. Thank you.